NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft. Currently the most distant human-made object from Earth, has fascinated people across the globe for nearly five decades. Since its launch, Voyager 1 has transmitted invaluable data from the fringes of deep space, expanding humanity's grasp of the cosmos. However, recent transmissions from a probe have displayed unusual and erratic behavior, leaving scientists puzzled. These mysterious signals have sparked intense debate. Are they simply technical malfunctions, or could they point to something far more extraordinary, perhaps even signs of extraterrestrial intelligence? Join us as we explore these perplexing messages and consider what secrets may lie hidden in the vast reaches of space. The innate human drive to solve mysteries has long fueled our desire to explore the universe, a curiosity that gave rise to ambitious missions like Pioneer 10 and 11, which marked the beginning of humanity's deep space exploration. Voyager 2 lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 20th, 1977, ushering in a new era in space discovery. Just weeks later, on September 5th, 1977, Voyager 1 launched, setting off on a trajectory that would take it past the outer planets and beyond, reshaping scientific understanding along the way. Each Voyager spacecraft, roughly the size of a compact car at 721 kilograms, followed different paths and traveled at different speeds. On December 15, 1977, a turning point occurred. Voyager 1 overtook its twin in distance travel due to its unique trajectory, becoming the most distant traveler in space. Voyager 1 soon became a cornerstone in humanity's quest to understand the universe. Among its early achievements, in 1979, while about 265 million kilometers from Earth, it captured detailed images of Jupiter. By January, it had completed a 100-hour observation, producing a time-lapse video of Jupiter's rotation. The 3,750 images revealed the planet's turbulent atmosphere in unprecedented detail. Voyager 1 also discovered an invisible ring around Jupiter and two new moons, offering critical insights into the planet's complex system. To avoid collision with Titan, Saturn's largest moon, Voyager 1 executed key course corrections. After its planetary encounters, the mission's focus shifted to interstellar space. Traveling at an astonishing rate of 325 million kilometers per year, Voyager 1 began venturing beyond the solar system's edge in January 1990. That same year, the probe captured several iconic images, including the famous family portrait on February 14th, a mosaic of 60 photographs taken from about 6 billion kilometers away. This snapshot, which included a now-famous image of Earth as a pale blue, added to Voyager's extensive visual archive of the outer solar system. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 accomplished its own groundbreaking feats. It recorded wind speeds on Neptune surpassing 2,100 kilometers per hour, about 1,300 meters per second, the fastest atmospheric winds ever observed. It also examined Triton, Neptune's largest moon, where temperatures dropped to a chilling minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton's icy geysers, which shoot nitrogen gas and frozen particles up to 5 kilometers high, hinted at geological activity once thought impossible on such a distant moon. Together, the Voyager missions revolutionized our understanding of the outer solar system, uncovering active, dynamic environments on moons previously considered dormant. These discoveries forced scientists to rethink the boundaries of where life and geological activity might exist in space. Earlier theories about Uranus and Neptune's geology were largely speculative until NASA's Voyager 2 made history by becoming the only spacecraft to closely visit both of these distant ice giants, an unmatched accomplishment in space exploration. NASA extended the mission's lifespans using ingenious strategies, such as shutting down non-essential systems to preserve power. These legendary probes are expected to operate until around 2030, marking the close of an era for the dedicated teams behind them. Voyager 1 and 2 were engineering marvels for their time. Designed to rotate slowly, they minimized image blur during movement, enabling to capture high-resolution images even before reaching the outer planets. As they passed by Jupiter, the spacecraft sent back detailed photographs of swirling clouds and the massive Great Red Spot, a colossal storm system that has fascinated scientists for decades. One of the most astonishing discoveries came from Jupiter's moon Io. Voyager detected strange energy readings, 
which were later confirmed to be volcanic activity, giant eruptions captured in striking images. Some of these eruptions were found to be over 1,000 times more powerful than the Mount St. Helens explosion, reshaping the moon's surface and covering areas nearly the size of France. To preserve energy for the long journey into interstellar space, the probes were gradually powered down. Interestingly, they didn't capture images of Mercury or Mars due to early technical limitations. NASA would later launch other significant missions, such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Pioneer 10 surpassed Pioneer 11 to become the most distant probe from Earth. However, Voyager 1 eventually outpaced them all, entering interstellar space on August 25, 2012. A major factor behind the success of the Voyager missions was their use of gravitational slingshot maneuvers. Instead of relying solely on onboard propulsion, the spacecraft used a gravitational pull of planets to gain speed and adjust their trajectories. Jupiter's gravity, for example, significantly accelerated Voyager 1, requiring precise calculations to ensure the craft didn't veer dangerously off course. Voyager 2 similarly used gravitational assist from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune, proving the efficiency of this method for deep space travel. As scientists await more information from the strange new signals Voyager 1 has begun transmitting, the spacecraft continues to explore the outermost regions of our solar system. It has collected crucial data from the edges of the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Time-lapse photography captured by Voyager 1 revealed 10 volcanic eruptions on Jupiter, discovered new moons, and even identified an unknown ring encircling the planet, greatly enhancing our understanding of the Jovian system. Voyager 1 also discovered four more of Saturn's moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea, and returned stunning images of the planet and its rings, offering unprecedented insights into its complex structure. The flybys of Uranus and Neptune provided key data about their atmospheres, magnetic fields, and moons, helping to deepen our knowledge of the most distant parts of the solar system. Following completion of their planetary flybys, both voyagers chart a course toward interstellar space. They continue to send back valuable scientific data from regions far beyond the reach of sunlight. As we await further analysis of the mysterious signals Voyager 1 is detecting, the legacy of these two pioneering missions lives on. Their findings have captivated scientists and space enthusiasts alike, reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. The Voyager missions offer humanity breathtaking images and transformative discoveries, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in space science. And their journey isn't over yet. Achievements. The Voyager spacecraft each carry a unique cultural artifact, the Golden Record, designed to tell Earth's story to any intelligent life they might encounter. This interstellar message includes greetings in 55 languages, a diverse selection of global music, and natural sounds like rainfall and whale songs. It serves as a symbolic gesture humanity's hope that one day, advanced civilizations may discover and understand our existence. Voyager 1 and 2 were also equipped with an array of groundbreaking scientific instruments that transformed our understanding of space. These included magnetometers, plasma wave detectors, and high-resolution imaging systems, all of which provided invaluable data on the conditions of the outer solar system. The magnetometers revealed the structure and behavior of planetary magnetic fields and their interactions with the surrounding environment. Plasma sensors help scientists understand how solar winds influence planetary atmospheres. One of the most significant accomplishments of the missions was the mapping of a heliosphere's boundary, the vast bubble of solar particles and magnetic fields that shields our solar system. As Voyager 1 neared this frontier, it detected a shift from solar origin particles to those from interstellar space, offering crucial evidence of how this boundary helps protect Earth from cosmic radiation. The spacecraft also identified the termination shock, a region where the solar wind slows and becomes denser, followed by the heliosheath, a turbulent zone where solar and interstellar particles collide, creating a dynamic plasma environment. Voyager 2 further deepened our understanding of these distant regions, especially with its observations of Uranus's highly tilted magnetic field. These findings challenge existing theories and open new avenues of research into planetary magnetism. Beyond their scientific achievements, the Voyager missions have captured the imagination of the world. Their breathtaking images of distant planets, 
like the iconic views of Saturn's rings and Jupiter's great red spot, remain some of the most memorable and inspiring visuals in the history of space exploration.